Well, it's the first full day of school for some students in New Jersey. Newark schools welcome students this morning with some pandemic restrictions still in place. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge live at Quitman Street School with details. Natalie? Yeah, first day, Chris, can you remember that? It's almost like the energy, the excitement was just vibrating off of the students here this morning. Now, like Elise said, a soggy start, so they had their umbrellas in tow. They were also carrying masks. That is still a requirement here today. But other than that, students say it feels the most normal that it has in a very long time. It was like really hard to go to sleep because I was so excited to come to school the next day. Mazik Thomas was one of dozens of students who showed up early to Quitman Community School to get a head start. We're in the eighth grade now, so it's going to be like really hard. The staff just as excited as the students. I've been like a child. We get up in the morning excited and jittery because this is my first day. We're ready to receive all of our 700 scholars here on this morning, and so the teachers eagerly await them. Principal Dr. Courtney Johnson says with COVID safety still a concern, the Newark School District is still requiring masks, one of the few to still have that regulation in place. During the course of the summer, we had 33 students positive, 97 employees positive. So we know that obviously the pandemic, while it has been more behind us than ahead of us, that it's still uh, negatively impacting uh, students. A decision will be made later in the school year whether to keep masking. Meanwhile, a teacher shortage continues to be an issue across the country as well as in Newark. So we have uh, about 80 vacancies uh, at the start of the school year and looking very aggressively to uh, uh, filling them as well. In Cresskill, Bergen County, a middle and high school damaged by Ida was finally ready to welcome back 1,000 students. You see the actual teachers again in the rooms and see the school again. I'm so relieved that they got it together and they could open on the first day. I'm so excited the kids are back. Administrators say the school was built in a flood zone back in 1962, but water never came into the building until last year. The water came crashing down. We had two, two to three feet of water. It's a big event. It's a big, the students have not been back in this building fully since March 13th of 2020. We battled COVID. We battled the flood. We've been in three different locations. Now back out live here in Newark, the superintendent tells us this is the highest enrollment that they have seen in decades with 38,000 students returning today. So you can imagine the streets around schools are going to be extremely busy for pickup at 2.50 this afternoon. We are live in Newark, New Jersey. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you. A lot of resilient kids and families in all those districts.